Right. Starting a few minutes, I'm just gonna try and get a good angle. Take some pictures first. Oh no, Instagram, really. So I just need to post that picture. This is going to be so tricky. I'm only going to stream for an hour. Maybe a wee, maybe a wee bit more. I'm pretty tired. Come watch me struggle. Load up the stream on the tablet so I can see how this view is. All right, so it's all good. Okay, how is the volume? Hello. Alright, so it's like no delay. Alright, how's the quality? It should be better because I'm using my iPhone to stream. So I don't use a diagram. I can use the iPhone instead. Um, use the chat quickly. Well, people have been here for since half six. Oh, I'll probably be waiting on it says at eight. At six or eight. Yeah, it's it's weird Ben on the when you schedule it on the iPhone. The when you pick the time difference, when you pick the time, it's completely different from what it shows. So I've I've no idea why. Um, oh, oh yeah, they've been there for a while. <laughs> Since half past. Oh yeah, like an hour ago? Wow. Oh, hey Corey, thanks for drawing. Yes, yeah, going to start in a second. Hey Finn, hey Ben, thanks for drawing. Um, uh, oh, impressive from your man, thank you. <laughs> Why are you running? Why are you running? Instagram. Uh, have you seen David's total post on Instagram? I don't think I have yet. Thanks, Ben. Are you going to do a tutorial on the Gucci paper? No, I am not, because that's my secret. But I'm going to be selling the paper on my Etsy store very soon. So, three crease patterns. Hopefully you can make out what I'm going to be doing, but... So, uh, let me see. So, on a pre crease, I've got three crease patterns. I print off three. One, I use the pre crease as normal. The second one, I use the fold to help fold in, which I'll be using in a minute. And the third one is for the crease pattern is flipped, so it's flipped right across. And I make all the valley folds, strong valley folds, on the color side. <laughs> So that's going to make it much more easier to collapse. Hopefully. Depending on what I can get done. Where would you begin on this? <laughs> what does that say? Oh, the message is held for review. Hmm. <laughs> um, so. 
going to be a difficult collapse. I need pegs. Mm -hmm. Why am I never prepared? I know, Corey, these cheese patterns are nightmares. Look at that. How sexy is that? Look. Where would you start collapsing that, Corey? Are you coming to New York City? Yes, I am. Flights are booked. Hotel is booked. So there's a few more details to get done and then that's everything. I really cannot wait to go. I always start collapsing from the outside. So I always start trying to collapse what I can from the outside and then work my way in. So let's keep this close. Let me hold it the right way first. That is the right way. Hold up these Jessica and they're going to get in the way. They're too baggy. Oh, hey, hey Bobo, Damien, thanks for joining. No, I'm, I'm only going to go to the, the, the New York one so far. That seems to be the most popular one, so... And it's in New York, so it's two things all of. Right. So hopefully I can at least get something done in this video, rather than me just being completely stuck. I think it's easier to do the outside first. Oh, these plates are going to be a nightmare. Oh, thanks. It sounds crisp. Yeah, it's bleeding tissue I'm using. I, this, uh, I started pre creasing this before I found out about the Gucci paper, which I, I would have used instead. So it's much more crisp and shiny. But this will do the job. Right. 
Oh, this is this is already confusing. Some mountain fold. Yeah. Bring this camera down a wee bit. So I'll try and get like this part collapsed roughly, and then I can spread it up into these spiky bits. And that's much easier than it sounds, and much harder than it sounds. Which isn't a mountain fold, should be. No, yeah, we're making progress already. That's what, that's what I've got in so far. The sweet part. Like when I look, when I collapse on my crease pattern, let's just say I'll look at this bit and then I'll see the mountain fold goes, hits here, goes up and hits here. So I'll go to the paper and I'll put in that exact mountain fold and then when I've done that, I'll go back to the crease pattern and then see what to do next. I can put that in place, I'll put that in place and then fix this bit and then fix this bit. So it's always going back and forth for every crease. It's a really good way to collapse crease patterns like this. And this part gets... These bits are really fun to put in place, so hopefully I can get that done as well in the next hour. So if I didn't use the other crease pattern and make all the valley folds strong valley folds on the colour side, I would have I would struggle big time. It would be near enough impossible to collapse if you don't do that. 
And I don't, I don't think anyone does do that. I would really recommend you do. It's night and day and difference. And how you collapse. It makes it so much easier. to make this mountain fold. This mountain hits that diagonal, so that's good. We can make this. Right guys, are you following along? Are you collapsing this as I'm doing it? The hardest tutorial in the world that would be. That's how it works. So that's that corner in place. No oh, other comments keep freezing again. Oh, it's because I keep touching the screen. So. You see that all right? I mean, it's so neat when it all comes together. Right, where am I? So I'm right here. Mountain. All right, so that's when these spiky bits come in place. Never actually tried Biotop before. How is it if everyone's used it? It's actually been a while since I've ordered from the origami shop. I ordered it every single time when I started out.
Right, this is a valley float. Um, just trying to see where all these creases come from. So if it comes in here. Oh, it's in mountain fold here as well. A mountain fold to hit here. Mountain. So one, two. Mountain, mountain, valley fold, mountain. So I think that's as much as I can do here for now. Can't really collapse it anymore until I get these next bits put in place. So I'll try and find a way to peg it. So let me peg that there. And I'll do the same on the other side. So I can keep up to date with each side. My goal is to make Ryujin 3.5, that's brilliant. Everyone should have a goal, not just for Ryujin, but any model. Set yourself a goal, and then that will actually make you go to try and do it. It will make you push yourself a lot. for joining. I cannot design to save myself, Ben. You know that. Everyone knows that. The worst design out there.
Who else is going to the convention in New York? Is it anyone else going that's watching? Yeah, I've read the. Oh, I've I've got the Design Secrets book, but I've not fully read it. Though I honestly don't. I honestly don't think it helped too much with me designing. I just don't have it in me. It's like when I fold from crease patterns, I know I can do it just by looking at the crease pattern, but if someone says to me, design a dinosaur, I would have no idea where to start. Or design something super easy. Again, I would have no idea how to do it. I think it's something you either have or you don't have. I definitely don't have it. Because I turned all these valley folds into strong valley folds before I started, everything goes into place so much easier. Oh, you're going to send models to the convention? Awesome. There, is that the one in New York or the, the lion one? I'm, I'm going to be taking loads to New York. Well, as much as I can probably carry. I need to see about how many bags you can take to the airport as well. Or just bring, it, and bring two suitcases, one with normal clothes and everyday things, and then the other one full of models. So I'll need to look into that. And I'm also going to do a, another long stream soon, hopefully in the next week or two, where I'll be folding the thousand grids for six hours and listening to bitch lasagna to help PewDiePie out. Where are we doing that? Going to be torture. This mountain fold doesn't go in place. at the door so I need to let them show in a second. But I think someone's getting them. While you continue to solve intermediate and complex crease patterns, yes I definitely will. It's just finding the right time to do it. And I don't always feel like recording them because they do take a while to make. But I have no plans on stopping them, so don't worry about that. I've already got all the crease patterns looked out, it's just 
actually getting to do it. Down, mountain, mountain. That's the valley. One, two, one. One, two, one. I've not made it on my mind yet, we're giving it away. I do want to try and MC to them together just to see what effects I can get, but I could probably give away half of it, then keep some for tests. Could do that. I hate when the crease pattern alternates the creases from the actual grid. Right, so mountain fold valley. Nothing mountain, mountain fold valley. Did you hear about the Christian shooter talking about PewDiePie? No, I did not. What, what happened? I know Pew PewDiePie made a post saying he, he wouldn't upload today, but I'm not sure, or was it yeah, earlier on? Though so I'm not sure what happened. Or did the killer talk about him? I have no idea. Oh, that's, that's it's so sad that. Like, how could someone actually do that? How can someone think and wake up one day and think, I'm going to go out and kill people? There's just, you get sick people in this world.
I'll, I'll need to think about it, Corey. Definitely. I'll, I'll, I, I could give away half of it. And then when it all fits in place, just press it all together and there we are. Don't even worry about that bit anymore. Oh, that collapses like that. Alright, let me just check. Mm. I get must, because that's, that's valley fold here, that's what I've got, and then this will be the mountain fold, and then the valley fold. Yep, that's correct. We must fold over. Don't think I did it on this side. These pleats on the legs are going to be confusing because they go through all the layers. Let's start with this one then. Um, one and a quarter. God, I can barely see the crease on this paper. As long as I can get the, because the thing is with this but um, on the leg you're only going to see this bottom unit of squares. The rest of this is going to be hidden, so if you make these pleats all at once, fold them over and then make the mountain fold, and then you don't need to worry too much how neat this is, as long as you put these ones in place and then connect it up, that will work perfectly. So I'm going to try that.
Hey Benjamin, thanks for joining. So, did you make the Mantis Shrimp by Andrea McCall? Uh, I've only ever made one. But I've got another one like sort of collapsed from a, f a few years ago though I'm not sure if I want to actually finish it. Anymore, I think I've lost interest in it. I really want to get this part collapsed to show you what it looks, what it's like. It'll look really cool. But it's these plates that are going to be an absolute nightmare. Hey, Gutten. Thanks for joining. So far, so good. I've not cried yet. Though I'm, I'm feeling like it. Because these pleats are a nightmare. I think it's going to be a mountain foot. It's because of all weird ass angles in these creases. Halfway mark. One, two, three. Yeah, that's weird as well. That's pretty weird. Not sure how that's supposed to collapse. So I'll put that one's locked in place and It's the halfway on the next block. That one, where it looks that one. I'm just going to try and put all these in place first and then make this mountain fold at the bottom. Where is that mountain fold? Well, that's the same one. That's these bits. God, these creases are so tiny. I'm using 45 centimetres as well. No, but yeah, about 45. No, maybe about 47. And these are like um, 2 millimetres. Where is this mountain fold? Mountain, mountain. Oh, that crease there. Third one I'm on. So the second one's in place nicely. Third one is again the halfway mark. And I'll on this one right here. God damn these creases are nightmare. You 
bit six of these to do in total. I don't think we ever get that bit of meat. Gets locked inside up, but why this has more doesn't need to be so complex. Yeah, if I manage to get this one in place, then I'll just work on the side, I'll do the other side off camera. So the first one, let's just make that a mountain fold. Much easier this bit with thicker paper. But that part of the crease pattern as well that's not fully detailed as the, as these other ones. So it's hard to make out exactly where the creases go.
keeps one to invert itself. There, stay like that, stay. There we go. There. So that's hopefully three that stays in place. And then this amount of food goes right down to the bottom. And then the valley fold. So I need to make this the valley fold. Let's lock it in the bottom. Let me just see the mountain fold. Let's make this mountain fold to lock these plates in place. Benjamin, I'm having problem with paper, no question, but how do you know if your paper is good enough to fold into a model? Well, if, you, if you've got two sheets of it, even just cut a wee square and then just randomly fold it, like make a, like make a grid, try and shape an insect leg from it or just make an easy model from it in general and then you'll get a feel for the paper and that'll, that'll give you a good impression as to if it's good or not but mostly you can just you can tell from the feel of the paper and the thickness of it and how the creases reverse that's a good indication of the paper will be good for a model that you've got in mind to here. Um, have you seen Yo Te Yong's Origami Sumo? No, I have not yet. Oh, hey Redden, thanks for joining. Never noticed you joined there. This saw Ben's comment saying, hey Redden. If you're still here, that is. No, I've, I've not finished watching Sex Education yet. I don't know, every time I watch TV, my mind gets distracted with things, so I don't normally watch shows fully in one go. I normally take like a, a few days to watch one episode. I'm weird that way. I've, I've no idea why. Mine's too active. But, no, I, I'm, I think I'm on like the fifth, ep the fifth episode. When the, they argue with each other. And then the, we get upset. So I'm going to just... Should be able to put this bit in place.
So these are so fun to do these bits. I'll show you in a second. Once I've put most of it in place. If you are talking about the Sex Education King and Corey, it's a TV show on Netflix. It's a really funny show. That you shouldn't watch with any family members in the room or in the house when you watch it. But it's actually so good. So let's see, so these mountain folds come over. Oh, so it's a valley fold one. Oh no, it's there. Yeah, it's back, don't worry. It's because it's saying more power on my phone. That always happens. Don't worry, it's back, it's back. Don't know why I never noticed. Because the power drains much faster on my phone than my tablet. I mean, like, I must freeze it when it gets a pop-up on the screen. That's what happened there. I had a, a notification on the screen. But it does not want to go in place just yet. Don't know how much power's on my phone anyway. Let me see. Oh, I can't see. So these are, that's what's going to go in place, you see how the, because I've collapsed this part first and then this bit second, I can use the pressure to put these last two bits together, near enough, one, two, three, three. So close to going in place. Nope. I think I'll come back to this, but nope. there we go. And that's a mountain fold. So it's down the way. There. So that's what we've got so far. Try and get a good close up of it. So now that this part is locked in place, the pressure is the paper's gonna be going down the way. So now we can easily put these bits in place. So I need to flip the paper over to get this bit done but 
que sí. Bueno. Versus Big Creeks here. up these v-sides. My hands are getting warm so I don't want to soften the paper. Well thanks Puff, can I get a shout out in your next video? I'll see what I can do. Thank you anyway. <laughs> in the 3.5 video. <laughs> yeah Ben, you need to send me the footage. If you send me the footage of you following them up, you'll get a shout out like everyone else that, that has so far. Because I'm going to include all their links in the description and the on screen as well. So if you want, you need to do that. <laughs> should be able to do this but in a few minutes I just need to get these last few creases make sure everyone's right so mountain fold comes up that goes up so let's put this in place So now that the pressure is locked in here, I can force these parts together now, which makes it much easier to collapse parts like this. Right, so we should be good enough to collapse this part. This is gonna be look this is gonna be the cool bit. So I need to flip it over. Now I'll go with that other crease pattern. Flipped one. We're basically making these triangles that are valley folds on the other side. Like that and then some mountain fold, so it's a valley fold on this side. Fold it right in half.
need more pressure from the center. Hold it like that. No, not gonna work. Yeah, I'm gonna stop after I do this, but it's been there enough an hour. Before I fully collapse, I'm just going to double check to make sure it's all in place. And that is that done. That'll be the spikes for the legs. Once it froze again, oh, the pop up on the screen appeared, should be back. Alright, I'll do that in two seconds. Thomas, explain the journey or the four, four VVTs. I'll do that in a few minutes. So, the, my phone is low power, so that's why it keeps freezing the, the screen. But that's what we've got. Done. And then when you collapse it, the pressure here, this part right here indicates the pressure comes down the way. So you need, if you get these in place first, and then it will come together neatly. So that's that. So that's what we have here now. So what these parts are, and there's the crease part on, is these points right here, three points. And if you look at the model and the thumbnail, or if you find one on Google, or go to Kota's, or look at a fold of this insect, these three points are the, the spikes on the legs. So when you come to shape it, you'll just reverse fold them outwards. And then when you thin the legs, you have these really nice points or spikes. Yep, I'll neaten that up once it's off once I've stopped streaming. So I'm gonna stop now, but that's what I've got so far. Let me zoom up a bit. So that's the, that's what, that's what it looked like before, this part right here. And then when you collapse it, it looks like that. And with the, the spikes in place, which I'll neaten up as soon as I stop. Um, see, didn't you cry halfway through? Yep, I cried when it froze. I made sure it froze at the, the exact moment, so no one would see me cry. I just replayed audio of me talking over when I was crying, so it sounded like I was still phone. And then when the froze came back, I'm back to normal. No one knew it. So Thomas, the what I've done so far. Let me see. Let me read that comment again. John, it will fold. So if you mean like the collapse, what I've done. So we started off here, 
I collapsed everything basically from this line and this line all inside here and put these creases in place first which it looks something like that when you do it and then I collapsed these pleats on the legs there's four pleats here mountain valley, mountain valley, mountain valley and then when I made those I made this bottom mountain fold to hold these pleats in place and then I put this in place which we have but it's on the other side here so there are the pleats here, the four pleats and then this wee diamond which is this one here no, it's that, yes, this one this one same process for this one and then because I have this collapsed and this part collapsed I extended the creases up and up here and then made these ones here and then basically folded this whole section up this section up so brought this point upwards to here that allowed me to make these creases which we have again here so we bring this part up this part up which forces the paper to come together and then you turn it over and then make like the wee triangles on this side and then it collapses flat like that so that's what it looks like so far on this side oh how's it go back together Right, anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Uh, I did actually get quite a good bit done on there. I don't think I'd get that much done. Even though it was quite tricky with this paper. So hopefully it turns out really good. Anyway, thank you all for watching. Oh, comments. Wrong roads. But my metal L ruler in the post today can't wait to make bigger grids of paper. Nice, Ben. Try to keep your ruler lined up with the paper. It always helps to get more perfect squares. can't measure out all the grams of MC powder, just use scales, uh, di digital scales, that will work. Right everyone, I shall see you all later, thank you for joining and liking the video.